Del Val is a really special place. At its core is a passion for education around some issues that are really central to the future of this country and the world. It has changed my life in the fact that I realized that not only is it home, it's my family. You know, it's, it's more than a place. It's people. The friendships that you develop here are your lifelong friends. When people ask me where I go to school, I am proud to say I go to Del Val. It's a beautiful campus. Um, the, the staff here is absolutely great. What I like be about being here at Del Val, well, just look. This is what I get to teach with. Isn't this amazing? The small atmosphere makes it special, um, and the close relationships the students get with their professors. It's a very caring, nurturing environment. It's uh, an environment in which people look out for each other, where students come first, where teaching and learning is the focal point of everything that we do. The teachers are always there. Um, a lot of them will give you their cell phone numbers. You can call them whenever. There is no problem too small. There is no question too big. Um, they just want you to succeed. Our students come in with a great deal of passion. Uh, they are here to make a difference in the world. And uh, I think that Del Bell gives them an opportunity to do that and gives them a chance to explore what their potential is. I get to know their interests, what they want to do, and if I, I see some kind of passion, some kind of spark, then it's, it's my job as their professor to help nurture that. They don't know you by a number. They know you by your name. They know you by your major. They know you by your year. They know what your strengths and weaknesses are because they're that hands-on and they're that willing and caring to help you whenever you need it. Our founder in 1896 uh, created this institution with the notion of uh, learning by doing. And I think that is still the epitome of a Delaware Valley College experience in education, where students are working hand in glove with faculty uh, from the freshman year all the way until the senior year. What we did during the strategic planning process that was such a critical moment for us was that we studied Rabbi Kroskoff's creed. I believe that all men have a right to social and intellectual and moral and religious freedom. I believe that it is all men's duty to acquire knowledge and to foster it, to love progress and to further it. I believe that ignorance is a curse and should be extirpated. We looked to his creed, we looked to his writings, we looked to his founding of the institution. It was almost like he was in the room. Yeah, Rabbi uh, Kroskoff would be uh, smiling. We're building off of the foundation, and you can't build without a firm foundation. The vision is very simple. Um, become um, the standard of excellence among small teaching universities. Uh, never, never losing our emphasis on small, never losing our emphasis on teaching, um, and also never losing our, the emphasis on hands-on worldly experience for our students. There was a mandate coming in from, from the uh, from the day I started the interview process to, to the day I arrived and all through the first year, and it was to anticipate what was going to be needed to meet all the challenges that were out there in the world, to make choices. What are our priorities? Where are we going to put the resources? And that's what the strategic plan, it's not some you know, fancy document, it's a process. What we did is we got all these folks together. We must have engaged at least 120 to 150 folks. We did a lot of research, we did a lot of listening, we did a lot of analyzing of trends, and all of that informed the choices we made about the future of the institution. The first part of the strategic plan talks about uh, the movement towards university status, but that really is an end point. It's the evolution to that that will make a difference, and that's what I think excites many, many people. The essence of it is, in fact, the idea that we will have a strong undergraduate program based on a school of life and physical science, a school of agricultural and environmental science, and a school of business humanities. All um, brought together with a strong emphasis on, on experiential learning. Then importantly, uh, bring together the graduate programs, which is why the university status is important as well, because the undergraduate programs need the support of the graduate programs to prosper. As the school's transforming, so am I. I'm growing up, I'm becoming more independent, I'm becoming more aware of who I am, and I think the school is also building on what it wants to become and what we see its potential as being. It is still 
a special place doing special things for what I would consider special people. We're connecting with our past, but also we're looking towards the future. We've got a new life science building coming on. We're getting new majors. We have brand new biology laboratories, chemistry laboratories. The, the expanding is happening, and it's happening fast. The fact that we're all engaged and that so much of what we do every day focuses on that strategic plan and the direction in which the college is heading, I think speaks volumes about, uh, about our commitment to it, and I think it also excites people. I'm very enthused about the, the new administration folks who have come in here. I'm very enthused about uh, the professors and, and, and leadership and the faculty, um, and, uh, and, and we're devoted to the kids. The reality is we are seeing ourselves moving forward at the moment in time that's critical to the delivery of education in this country. I think we've done a lot to uh, have people embrace that vision and, and, and really internalize it and work towards it. So instead of people go, working in a lot of different directions, I think we're all going now in the same direction. I think it's a big positive for the school. When DelVal was founded, the idea was, was really about social justice, about working with people to establish equality, to look at issues of fairness, to look at discrimination, and to really try to figure out how we can work together to create a more cohesive, productive, exciting society in which people thrive. We're engaging with other countries, people from around the world in a way that we never have before. We as educators have the re professional responsibility to offer opportunities to young people to have an international experience as an integral part of their education. This past summer I was chosen for the Pol Poland Exchange where we spent two weeks in Poland touring their agricultural facilities meeting with their students. It's provided me with a couple opportunities to go abroad which is very exciting. I took the global horticulture trip this year. We really seem to adapt with the times and the needs of society and I think we're kind of the right place at the right time. The Gemmel gift was a gift made through the Warwick Foundation by the Gemmel family. The total gift was $31 million, and it breaks down into a $10 million endowment, uh, a $5 million uh, uh, support for the strategic planning directly, and then the, the actual uh, physical land, which is, is, is really about $16 million in terms of value. It gives us a, um, a piece of property that ensures our future as important as the, as the money itself was the fact that Betsy Gemmel, uh, as, as head of the Warwick Foundation, the gift she gave me and the gifts she gave the whole strategic planning process was by linking the gift, the financial gift, to the future of the institution by saying this gift is supporting the strategic plan and supporting the going to university status. It didn't just jumpstart the strategic plan, it, it cemented its future in a, in a very dramatic way. I sense with many of the changes that have occurred over the last several years, a growing sense of energy, a can-do attitude, a commitment to a brighter future. It's real. You can touch it. You can feel it. There's so many different things going on and there's such an excitement on campus and you can feel that things are, are changing, that we're, we're moving to a different level. At the end of the day, you know, we're, in, we're only in one business. We're in education. We produce one product and that is a marketable student, steps in well-informed, engaged, skilled, and prepared to lead. I feel very equipped to go ahead into the job force and make an impact. There's so many good changes coming about. People are enthused. People are excited about the future here. Uh, there's, it's just, it's fun. We have resources to do what we're doing today. Reality is what do we need to do and prosper into the future. How do we evolve? We need those resources, that's critical. As any transformation occurs, you need the people and the economics to make that a reality. A lot of exciting things are going on, but we also need alumni to not only give, but to participate and to show interest and to give back. I support Delaware Valley College because uh, it uh, prepared me for a career far beyond my wildest expectations. It's time for me now to give back. 
and hope that other students can have the same kinds of opportunities that I had. And what has given me is they realize I always need to give back and this is my family and you take care of your family. That's, that's what I took from Del Val. We've begun the process. We've got the momentum. We are transforming. We are moving things forward. We're on our way and uh, it's, it's been uh, remarkable, but at the same time, there's a, long, a lot more work to be done to become the best possible institution this place can be. And I think it's important work, and this is the time, and this is the, this is the moment. We need to put it forward that this is the place that people ought to come because if they want to make a difference in the country and in the world. That's who we are, that's who we've always been, and I think that's where we're going, and I invite everybody to, to come along on that journey.